Soft Tippers, welcome to Soft Tip Central. My name's Dan, and on the show today we have the probably the most well-known name in Soft Tip in the UK, um, the man that sort of he's done it all pretty much in the Soft Tip world, and that's uh, Adrian Gray. So, how are you, Adrian? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, good to be on the show. Thank you ever so much for coming on. I really appreciate that. Um, so, to start off with the nickname, the Conqueror. I love it. How did it come about? Um, well, obviously, I'm from Hastings, um, and if you know your history, um, 1066, the Battle of Hastings uh, with William the Conqueror, um, and obviously, after beating Phil Taylor in 2007, uh, Sid Waddell called me the Conqueror, so pretty much stuck with that from then. Nice, and it kind of um, sort of rings a bit true as well, sort of the fact that you went and you conquered the Asia Open. And he conquered Singapore Darts Live in 2014 and 15. That must have been such a buzz to, to get those two titles and, and to do that over there. Um, how was that? And how was the experience of those two competitions? Uh, firstly, I, I never thought I would ever be going to somewhere like Asia to play darts. Um, so, you know, you know, it's overwhelming to go to Asia and then, you know, to to be able to win, you know, their events, um, you know, it's one of the best sort of feelings you can ever have as a dart player. Because obviously it's it's very competitive over there. It's considered very highly uh, and they absolutely love the, the darts live format over there. Um, I haven't had the pleasure of playing the darts live boards yet, but that's coming this year. Um, speaking to um, darts live in the UK and obviously speaking to Paul Lim and stuff, they're going to hopefully be sorting me out a, um, a 200S so that I can actually jump on the platform and, and play online uh, with some of the people around the world that are on the same platform. Um, what is it about the, the soft tip um, game that it attracted you to it? Was it a chance thing or had, did you plan sort of it into your career? Um, well, in 2013, um, I saw... Uh, Colin Lloyd and Mark Webster play in um, in the Darts Live event. Um, and I was on the tour at the time with them on the PDC tour. And uh, we, we had a chat about um, an event that was coming up in France. So we decided that there's quite a few of us, actually. Um, we, all, we all went down to uh, France in La Rochelle and played in one of their soft tip events. And I made last 16, which was quite good for my first event. Um, pretty happy with that and literally leaving the airport getting home um, within a couple of days of getting emails asking me if I'm looking to do any more um, soft tip playing any more events and um, being offered money to to go and um, you know represent um, you know different people and um, play in Asia so it was sort of like a no-brainer let's 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 go with it. This is a massive, massive advance on your career from obviously, because obviously you've had sort of, you, you dipped in to the PDC tour and you, you came out again and you went in again and you got your tour card a couple of times um, and had some, some really good sort of runs in the Players' Championships. I think um, semi-finals twice, I think, that you all sort of came up sort of a little bit short against Mr. Wright, Mr. Snakebite, sort of took you out a couple of times to, to sort of stop you at the last hurdle, so to speak. Um, but the soft tip, you seem to have sort of come into your own and you're a massive advocate for the sport in the UK. And obviously we're doing everything we can at the channel to promote soft tip in the UK. So is there any way that you can see it, it moving forward and increasing? Obviously, the home boards are extremely popular at the moment. I mean, I've got obviously a grand board and a Nexus and I'm looking to get the 200S. Um, with this pandemic, do you think it's going to increase the amount people take soft tip seriously when the pubs do open? Um, it's really, it's, it's, it is a real difficult one. I think what people have got to start believing that, you know, this isn't just um, a toy, a toy. This is like serious, you know, um, the serious money that can be won. And it's really enjoyable. And people have got to start believing that this is what this is. And it's not your, your kid's safe way of playing darts. You know, they've got to realise that, um, you know, and accept it, accept that, you know, there is this is good darts, this is um, enjoyable, this is um, good money to be won. And as soon as people are willing to accept that, then there's no reason why the soft tip can't obviously go where it's meant to be going. Yeah, because I, I think a lot of people have in their mindset, and I mean, we in the UK, we are predominantly the steel tip country. That, that's how it, it is. The World Championships are held here every year. 
Um, but people need to realise that it's, an, it's not the same, a different version of the same game. It's a completely different animal and a completely different entity. And they just need to detach away from the whole stilted logic behind everything. Um, and I think the minute they do that, I think it's, it's going to grow massively. I know for a fact that I'm going to be coming down to uh, 180 Bar down in Hastings and I'm going to look to sort of yeah. set up, see if I can join some leagues and join a team down there. That's something that I'm personally going to do when all this is over. One of the first things I'm going to do. Um, second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on holiday because because <laughs> I've worked throughout this entire pandemic. So I didn't get a COVID holiday. I want a holiday. So that's that's yeah, my next yeah. thing. We're, we're all, we all want holidays. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, one thing, you're sponsored by Trinidad. And now, obviously, they're um, uh, an Australian company, I believe. Um, uh, Japanese. They are Japanese. But they, oh, yes, yeah. they are. They do have places in Australia. They're the main yeah. sort of supplier over there. How did that sponsorship come about? Now, did that come about through the soft tip side of things or have you been sort of with Trinidad for quite a while? Um, no, everything comes, um, you know, from, from you know, obviously the, the work that I put in, the efforts that um, people see me making. Um, and then obviously, um, you know, some people like me. So, um, you know. They want they want me to wear their logo, so we we have chats and and it comes about like that. Really, we just you know we you know I'm quite a nice person to get on with, and um, you know me and Trinidad get on really well, so we we decided to work together. Yeah, they are they are an extremely good brand, and obviously um, Condor uh, are one of the main uh, suppliers um, that I've come across that have a sort of much higher level of um product when it comes to soft tip their tips the zero stress systems the axe systems and everything that they provide um are, are extremely good um and i i really like using their products um what do you see do you see them becoming more popular in the uk because they're extremely hard to get hold of at the moment uh, i think that um range of um stems um flights are you know, becoming a lot more popular in the UK with along with L style. Um, you know, it's a new it's a new um, new design, and you know, people like to try new things. And obviously, the how how long they last is a massive factor. Um, people don't mind spending the money as long as something lasts. So, you, you know, obviously, that's that's what people are looking for. Um, like I said, people like to try new things and you know they they give anything a go and um and uh, you know that's the reason why i think um you're seeing it a lot more yeah because obviously a lot of pros on the circuit now are using the the flight systems and and i've we've done uh, sort of tip reviews and we reviewed different sort of styles of tips and brands of tip and the condors came out on top in the in the actual testing that we did so the proof is in the pudding that obviously they they know their eggs and they know what they're talking about and they're bringing out some very, very good products. Um, I love watching a lot of your darts live stuff um, on YouTube and bits and pieces like that. Bar or 180 bar down Hastings where you live, it's literally a 15, 20 minute drive from me. I'm only in Crowborough myself. So I'm okay, literally yeah. just up the road. Um, we're going to come down and we're going to have a tournament with you guys. Um, is yeah. there any advice that you would give people that are coming onto from home boards onto the darts live boards? What, what what can they expect? What's going to be different for them? How is it going to sort of in, encourage them to to move into this league phase and get more dark slide boards in pubs around them? Um, I think it's more, obviously, um, you know, the home board, it becomes pretty much the same, you know, indoors. Um, you don't get out, you don't get to see anyone. So you're only ever playing, um, you know, your imaginary friend or someone online. So um, when you obviously, like you talked about joining leagues, um, you know, we have leagues in Hastings on the machine. So everyone meets up once a week um, and we all play against each other. You know, playing match practice face to face is a lot better than, like we say, online. So that's that's what you you get better. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, just just trying it out is, is what you're looking to do, really, um, you know. Some people, you know, of all levels, um, you know, some people, you know, they've never picked up a set 
a set of darts because they just don't think they can throw any darts because they can't hit the treble 20. They can't focus on certain areas. But, you know, we've, we've had so many different sort of levels of players play and the soft tip still brings that element of fun that it doesn't matter what level you're at, you can still enjoy the game as, as much as I enjoy the game, as much as you enjoy the game. So, you know, um, you, you have really got to come down see people playing the machines and then you'll want to play the machines and that's that's the main thing is seeing and being able to enjoy the full the full aspect of the machine really yeah i think it's really good a lot of people um i found when i was sort of growing up i played darts all the time maths is a huge thing for me i really enjoy doing maths and this that, and the other and you'd say oh do you want a game of darts now i know i can't because i don't want to chalk massive yeah. massive pull of the soft tip game you don't have to do that. It does it for yeah. you. So, yeah. so that's another massive appeal for people that are sometimes a little bit scared of that whole chalking element and sort of being a focal and having to get those scores right that quickly. It pulls a lot more people in like that as well because you don't have to to be sort of trained in the art of counting and, and knowing sort of what you've got to chalk. And it, it's a lot more p appealing to a lot more people. And I think we really need to sort of work to get some more of these machines in pubs if, if they just put a machine in the pub just <laughs> they're people they're fine that people will play it a lot lot more um i really <clears> like um what you've done and you're, you're obviously you're sponsored by um trinidad and who is it you're sponsored by flightwise so, yeah, l star it is l star l yeah as i've seen a few of your bits and pieces on there because i speak to tony martin quite often as well yeah um, he's a great guy. Um, currently now the I think players director of the UK DA is just yeah. taking on that yeah. role, um, and we've just reviewed his new barrels actually from Galaxy. So that, they're really interesting, and they're an extremely good dart. You need to send me a set of yours actually. So you need to get yeah. that review done on the channel. Um, so what are your plans? Obviously, COVID has been a pain, um, and obviously your tour, I'd imagine, and your tournaments have just come to a complete halt. So what are your plans when this is all over? Is there anything coming up in 2021 that's booked in or? Well, um, I uh, managed to uh, lose my tour card. Um, so I have to try and regain that this year. Um, and that's in um, maybe a month's time. Um, and, you know, sort of see what happens from there. Um, Got to see if Darts Live are going to be putting on any events. Um, so it's, it's pretty much a waiting game, but also a practicing and making sure I'm ready for, um, you know, just for the green light, really. As soon as I get the green light, we can go start playing and uh, try and get things back to normal and uh, and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Awesome. So obviously the, the dart slide tournaments are very, very highly attended. Um, and obviously with the with the restrictions are currently in place, I imagine these are going to be abroad, most of these tournaments, because I don't think they'll have anything in the UK, I wouldn't imagine. Um, <laughs> No, not yet. No, um, no, we're still waiting for them to um, uh, do a big major event in the UK. Um, I think, you know, there were talks of doing one in Spain. Um, but like I said, it's just literally, you know, let's see what these next few months go and see what they can arrange and, and see what gets set up. No, awesome. Um, obviously, we feel very strongly about youth and bringing youth up through uh, Soft Tip Central. Obviously, I've got kids. A lot of the people that support the channel got kids. Is there anything? Because obviously we've all got these home boards at home, and it's great for the kids to get involved in because they can play. Do you have any advice for for kids that are wanting to take up soft tip and that would want to sort of progress through and sort of grow within this game alone? Do, would you recommend them to just play soft tip, or would you recommend them to play steel tip as well? Have you got any advice to give any of our young supporters? I mean, anyone that does have a soft tip board, um, you know, a home board. I do recommend, you know, for, for younger ones, you know, I've got, I've got younger kids um, and they find it more enjoyable to play the soft, soft tip because, you know, um, maybe the noises that it makes, the, the um, you know, like the le no counting, um, you know, you can play so many different games of, you know, building up your score um, instead of just the 501 sort of games. Um, you know, and that's more enjoyable. You can play team games, um, you know, and that, that sort of, that, that's the enjoyable side to the soft tip rather than as we see the competitive steel tip of 501, 501, 501, 501. Yeah, yeah. It just kind of gets, it gets repetitive, really. 
you know, yeah, so. I mean, variation is key for kids because it, it sparks the interest and keeps the interest there. Um, and that's why, um, obviously, I love the the Gramble because it's got so many different variations of very, very good games that you can actually play with kids like hide and seek and tic-tac-toe and different bits and pieces. Yeah. Like that. And it's really good to get them integrated into the sport. Um, so obviously you won in 2014, 2015, were your big years in soft tip. Um, yeah. They were the ones where you went and obviously did the Asia Open and then you, you did the Darts Live Singapore the year after. Um, we spoke earlier in the year or later last year to Stephen Bunting, um, who also absolutely adores the whole Darts Live scene. Um, it, has there ever been a the talk of collaborations between yourself and other players to try and build a soft tip style tour in the UK? Yeah, we've we've there's um, we've had loads of conversations about it really, um, but you know with with the likes of the PDC being so busy, um, it was going to be really difficult to find a date. And then obviously there was BDO at the time. Um, you know, it was just trying to find a date that suited everyone, um, which is really tough when when you've got like the fixture list that the PDC always had. Um, so yeah, there was lots of talk about it, but um, you know, with the last year that we've just had, there's there's been no talk about anything like that for quite a long time, really. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, the PDC schedule is hectic. It's crazy, um, and obviously we've. With Soft Tip, it's a completely different entity. Um, now, obviously, I've spoken to Barry Hearn a couple of times about it and said, look, why don't you do this? And his response to me was, it's just not entertaining enough. And I nearly cried when he said that. I thought, Soft Tip darts is one of, especially if you get a game of cricket that goes down to the ball, is one of the most intense things you will ever watch in your life. And it's literally edge of the seat stuff. I can't understand why people don't want to put this on people's televisions. I mean, if they did one sort of exhibition, that'd be it. It'd be so popular. I, I, I do get it. What what it comes down to, it comes down to like um, commentating a game of cricket. Um, it would be very difficult for the Joe public to um, understand what the hell is going on unless you've been taught how to play the game of cricket. The amount of times that I've tried to teach people how to play cricket um, you know, you have to play the game to be able to teach them and talk them through. I mean, you know, you've got great players. Um, you know, they've played cricket. They tell you they know how to play cricket. No, they know what needs to be done, but they don't know how to play a game of cricket, you know. Um, so, and that's great players that know how to play it or know the format of the game. But if you get the Joe public who don't know what the hell is going on, they are soon be turning off the TV because yeah. they just won't understand what's going on. So I kind of get it, but I do know where you're coming from because I've, I I absolutely love the game of cricket. I think it is the greatest game that, you know, that us dart players play. It's so tense. It can literally change within three darts. You miss one we, dart and it's we, just... When, um, when we're on the, uh, well, when I was on the PDC tour and we'd be on the practice boards... Honestly, you look around and everyone's logged into the Darts Connect and they're all playing cricket. Uh, pairs, um, you know, they're all playing cricket. You know, everyone loves the game of cricket. It's, it's, it's an awesome game. I only really found it since, obviously, joining the, the realms of soft tip and getting my board. I only, got, I only sort of came into soft tip in March um, of last year. I got bought a Nexus board for my birthday by the other half. It's probably one of her biggest regrets that she's ever done in her life. <laughs> Because the because the following twelve months, well, the following time leading up to to this March had just been insane. The, the, the yeah. channels just exploded. Um, I've had ground boards sent to me, V darts boards sent to me. I've got dart bags of darts coming out of my ears, and it's a phenomenal thing. And it's connecting people. And I think that this is only ever going to grow. Now we have a lot of players on here. We've got some we've got some people in America who are SS rating on the ground board and. Double A's and some really good players. Do you have any advice for people like myself? Um, I'm a pretty average dart player. What would you advise myself and some of the people that are watching the channel to improve their soft tip game? What are your sort of top tips? Um, the number one that I say is obviously um, 
when you play 701, obviously you're playing on the bullseyes. Do not deviate from the bullseyes and think, oh, I can score more when I go for 20s. Because you probably can, but you've got to imagine that um, when you're aiming for the bullseye, as when you're, you're bringing your target closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And that then is something you can move around the board for your aiming. So, um, you know, I've, when I first got a few people playing soft tip, it was playing 701 and everyone wanted to go for treble 20s. And they're, you know, they were like, oh, I can't hit the balls. I can't hit the balls. I can't hit the balls. But what it was is they were being rewarded for a really poor dart that was like, you know, maybe three inches away from the treble 20, but actually hitting a 20. Whereas you don't get rewarded for missing the bullseye. That's the only, that's the downside. That's the reason why people deviate. So what I recommend is for anyone is just to stay consistent on the bullseyes and then your target and your aiming will get so much better. And then you'll obviously be able to, um, you know, achieve more than what you, you were. Okay. Because I've, a lot of people, again, it goes back to that whole thing. We are a steel tip nation. We play steel tip darts. They need to realise that the whole the bullseye side of things is where soft tip is at. That bullseye is the most logical target to hit. Yeah, it's percentages. Tip. It's percentages. As us as dart players have always played percentages. We we've always done it. This this is what we've always set everything up to be is percentages. And you look at how big that target is, and you know you're almost guaranteed to hit one fifty every time, whereas. If you go to the treble 20, yes, you can hit 180, but you miss that one treble 20, one, and it doesn't matter where you land around the board, it's going to be less than 150. So this is the reason why, as percentages, we play on the bullseye. Yeah, 100%, and I 100% agree with that. And my average has actually gone up since I sort of dropped to the bullseyes and constantly played bullseyes. Um, I think it's the way that soft tips should be played. There are a lot of naysayers and, and you get a lot of people. I mean, there's even tournaments that have been brought out um, for us to play in on the home balls that are called specifically called no balls tournaments because yeah. you're not allowed to use the bullseyes because people just don't like, don't they can't switch their mindset across. Yeah, um, but, obviously but I, I, like, I, like, I like that. I like the fact <laughs> that is because that, that creates another tournament, you know, something different rather than the same old, same old, same old. And that's the beauty about these machines is, you can set the format to whatever you want it to be. Yeah. So, you know, you, you can go on there and um, you can set the machine to become split ball so that it is still tip rules. Um, yeah. You know, you can have it as master out, which is um, treble, double or bullseye out, um, you know, and you can put cricket into the format. And that is the beauty of, of, of these machines is that you can have any format you want in your tournament. So, so versatile, so versatile. And obviously around loving cricket, your top tip for cricket, for people playing cricket, because a lot of people come to me and they're like, Dan, you've got to point. Point, 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 point. That's all you need to do when you play cricket. And I'm like, but I've got a chance. I can close that person out and then they can't score anymore. So that's better. But what is your top tip for cricket? My top tip would be... Um, Never go for a glory shot unless it's to win the game. So an example is if you can close someone um, and you think it's a risky move, don't go for it unless it's the risk to win the game. OK, OK, I like that. I like that. OK, that's pretty cool. So, so, so to, to elaborate, it's a case of, again, percentages, play your percentages. Yes. Work out what, what your best option is at the time and, and don't do anything stupid. I do that all the time. I do yeah, that all the well, time. We, 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 we all want to <laughs> go up and get a white horse. You know, we all want to do it. But realistically, are we going to do it every time? No. So, um, you know, we, we still have to play percentages. But no, and I really appreciate you coming on. I Thank you so much no for spending problem. the time with me this evening. Um, we will be coming down to see you. We had a tournament that was planned for... November, we were going to come down to 180 yeah, bar. I know. Yeah, um, we were going to play and then we we're going to have a tournament and all this, that, and the other. It was going to be awesome. And then we got locked down pretty yeah. heavily. To be fair. Um, so yeah. we're going to come and see you. The minute restrictions are lifted, we're going to come down and see you guys. Um, I will speak to you more, obviously, about um, seeing if we can get some Trinidad um, darts from yourself, see if we can get those reviewed um, and show people what you're playing with. 
Um, yep. and, but failing that, hopefully we'll speak to you again later in the year when you've had a bit of perhaps a tournament or two. Um, we'll find out, see how you get on with your tour card. And it'd be really good to catch up with you later in the year. So thank you ever so much for coming on, Adrian. Yep. No problem. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. And we'll speak to you soon, buddy. Take care. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Bye. Bye.